Cobra Kermit Uncut, there's a new Mission Impossible movie currently in cinemas, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, and it's pretty much more of the same, but it's extraordinary how much longevity that series has had. You think about it, it dates back to 1996. Over the course of its many movies, we've had directors like Brian De Palma and J.J. Abrams and John Woo making Mission Impossible movies. With the new one, it does the same thing that it's done before. But you have to admit that Tom Cruise is in pretty good shape, and the movie does a lot of showing you how much good shape he's in, whilst also emphasizing the fact that many of the stunts are actually done by Tom Cruise. Now, Tom Cruise often gets a bad rap in the press, not least because of his close association with Scientology. I mean, for example, did you see that documentary Going Clear? Really genuinely chilling stuff. And also because he has made some genuinely terrible films. Far and Away was nothing to be proud of, and Eyes Wide Shut was easily Stanley Kubrick's worst movie. However, there have been some great Tom Cruise performances, and whilst it's always tempting to laugh at him, I thought now would be a good time to pick my five favourite Tom Cruise performances. Who's your mother? Eleanor Babbitt. Eleanor? Died January 5th, 1965 after a short... Who the hell are you? Uh-oh. Huh? Oh, wait a second. Where are you going? 13 minutes of Judge Wapner, the Wapner. people's court. Oh, the wait a second here. I want to ask you a question. Put your witness signals for real. Participants are not... Hey, I'm talking to you. So at number five, an uncontroversial choice, Rain Man from 1988. Tom Cruise plays Charlie Babbitt, the slimy brother who has to learn to become something more during the course of the drama. Not only does Cruise hold his own against Dustin Hoffman, but he's also a lot funnier than people remember. Like that, you're gonna turn me like this, okay? Let's turn me, that's good. This is dancing. This is dancing. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to feel a little silly. Excuse me. What can I do for you? Who are you? Joel. At number four, an early entry from 1983, Risky Business. Now, it has to be said that Risky Business has not stood the test of time well. Now, it looks even more like a creepy male wish fulfillment fantasy than it did when it first came out. The story is of a young wannabe student who ends up turning his middle class home into a brothel, yet somehow, at the centre of it, Tom Cruise manages to be charming, entertaining, even likeable, despite the fact that his character is pretty despicable. Oh, and I like the Tangerine Dream score too. Portia, there is no substitute. Are you drunk again? Hey, Mom. He's drunk again. Eli, we've been drunk for a son. Leave that. You leave that alone. Leave. Give that to. You can't this is stay what in this you house. Believe in, isn't it, Mom? You can't this stay. is what you believe in, but I don't. I don't believe in him anymore. Go to bed, honey. It's he okay. Spend three I'll days up there, and me, I gotta spend the rest of my life. I wish I were dead like him. You don't know what you're saying. That's a problem, Mom. I'm not dead. I gotta live. A number three, Born on the Fourth of July, in which he played Ron Kovic and earned one of three Oscar nominations for his lead role. He also picked up a BAFTA, and understandably so. It's a terrific performance and perhaps the first role that got him taken really seriously as an actor. How does it feel, Mr. Kovic, to be addressing the entire country? Uh, overwhelming. An honor. It's been a long way for us to bet. Yeah. Uh, just lately, I felt like I'm home. Which brings us to number two, and frankly, he had me at hello in Jerry Maguire, the film which first introduced a wide audience to Renee Zellweger, although some of us knew her from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre sequels, and indeed gave Cuba Gooding Jr. the opportunity to give the best Oscar acceptance speech of all time. But at the center of it is Tom Cruise. Again, that strange mix of likable, creepy, but in the end, utterly sympathetic. You. I'm not just... Has... Shut up. Just shut up. You had me at hello. You had me at hello. Tame it! Take it on head first with the skills that I will teach you at work and say no! 
You will not control me. No! no. You will not take my soul. No. no! You will not win this game. All of which brings us to the number one spot and my favourite Tom Cruise role, which significantly is not a lead role, but a supporting role, or at least part of an ensemble cast. As Frank T.J. Mackey in Paul Thomas Anderson's Magnolia, Tom Cruise is utterly extraordinary, playing a motivational speaker who is chauvinistic, horrible, vile, and yet utterly believable. It's significant that Paul Thomas Anderson, who made The Master, actually likes and respects Tom Cruise very much. In fact, he showed him a copy of The Master before it went on general release. And one of the reasons is the work that Tom Cruise did in Magnolia. You can say what you like about Tom Cruise, but few people would be that brave and that good in that role. I will not apologize for who I am. I will not apologize for what I need. I will not apologize for what I want. My top five Tom Cruise roles. What did I miss? What are your favourites? Perhaps you're one of the people that would defend far and away. What really stands out for you? Let me know.